Hi guys, today I'm talking about a concept called radical acceptance. And this is basically accepting life on life's terms. Now, the thing is we all have concepts and ideas in our head as to how we think life should play out, how other people should act or react to us, how we should be um, in our lives. And when these things don't materialize, sometimes it can be a great source of suffering for us. You know, we feel such frustration, we feel Feel so out of control and we feel like we've somehow been um, denied of, of something that was due to us whereas the reality is it was just an idea that we had in our heads so it's really important to be able to detach yourself from the shoulds it's also when you're struggling with your mental health important to be able to detach yourself from the past and knowing the difference between being able to process and work through your suffering and wallow in it. I mean, literally, it's important to recognize the sources of your pain, the sources of your suffering, the causation behind a lot of your defense mechanisms. However, that being said, you don't stagnate there. You basically recognize, you process and you move forward to the best of your capabilities. And this can take a lot of practice because ultimately a lot of the wounds and the suffering from our past are extremely deep rooted. And the temptation is to nearly bury yourself in the unfairness of it all because ultimately a lot of the things that happen to us aren't our fault. That being said, as long as we allow them to dictate our joy, to dictate our peace of mind, they will continue to do so. And it can be really, really difficult to tackle those strong feelings of pain and suffering. I mean, it can be a lifelong journey, but it is so worth undertaking. Otherwise, you are going to be continuously at the mercy of of your past so it's about recognizing what it is that you can control I mean ultimately you cannot change your past you cannot control the future all you can do is work on yourself in the present and I try to I suppose highlight to clients that oftentimes our mental and emotional health struggles can be a source of great enlightenment. They can give us a self-awareness that often other people don't necessarily have to develop. They can also be a great source of developing empathy, which improves all of our relationships. So in a way, they crack us open. They allow us to omit our light. They allow us to shine if we can just move past them, if we can just transcend them. However, oftentimes we find ourselves so completely bogged down in them and so convinced that things are never going to get better and I suppose that would be the one message that I always try to impart on people that literally if I could take your hand and bring you six days six weeks six months into the future life would look so incredibly different just because today is painful doesn't mean that tomorrow is going to be if you are struggling in any way with your mental or emotional health, get in touch with me on the website. It's fundamentals.ie. You will also catch me on my Facebook and my Instagram page. Both of those are called Fundamentals. I do regular content on my YouTube channel, which is called Fiona Feely. So go check it out. I'd appreciate a like, a share and possibly a subscribe. And I do a regular podcast with Neil O'Brien. It's called Touchy and Feely. It's available on iTunes and Spotify so go give it a listen and let us know what you think.